November is associated with Scorpio, the sign that rules sex, death, and regeneration. Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns. Welcome to 333 Magic 9, your astrology channel. And November has some powerful aspects, and here's what they mean for your sign. The month begins under a Venus-Uranus opposition. Aries, Venus transiting your 8th house of shared energy intensifies your sensual nature. You may find that you have the ability to join your resources with others for financial gain and perhaps for some intimate excitement. <laughs> However, her opposition to Uranus in your 2nd house of personal resources suggests that you have some limits especially when it comes to your money and your investments. Unwise investments can bring loss and unwise passion, disappointment. Jupiter enters Sagittarius for the first time in 12 years. Aries, Jupiter or Zeus to the ancient Greeks was known as the king of the gods, <laughs> the king of justice and the great of benefic. Now, he will transit his own sign of Sagittarius for the first time in 12 years, starting a new cycle of growth, opportunity, wisdom, and abundance. Now, here's what it'll mean for your sign. Jupiter will transit in your ninth house of the higher mind. Now, Jupiter rules this house, so you can expect opportunity in educational, legal, visionary pursuits, and travel. It is extremely important that you stay focused on what you need to learn because you are growing in your understanding of the world. Your ambitions must be pursued, but pursued with wisdom. Mercury goes retrograde November 16th. Aries, whenever Mercury is retrograde, it's always a good idea to slow down a little bit. And since he's retrograde in your ninth house of understanding, he warns you to take care of the details so you can shine in the big picture. Take a little extra time when planning for the future. There can be nuances in what appears to be straightforward information, and this can trip you up on important projects. And if you're planning a trip, check your itinerary twice, two times. <laughs> Misunderstandings can occur due to language or cultural differences. So, again, be careful. Neptune goes direct on November 24th. Aries, Neptune, the planet of imagination and spirituality, has been retrograde for six months. Neptune turning direct in your 12th house of limitations increases your sensitivity and offers an opportunity to deepen your spiritual gifts. Prayer, yoga, meditation will all benefit you on a creative and a healing level. Dreams and intuitions concerning the future may lead you down a new life path. Examine your beliefs and your friends for their truth. The Sun conjuncts Mercury and Jupiter the 26th and 27th. Aries, the triple conjunction of the Sun, Mercury, and Jupiter is a powerful and expressive energy, expanding ideas, beliefs, and hopefully understanding. Now, the Sun, Mercury, and Jupiter conjunction affects your ninth house of the higher mind, and he asks you to focus your mind on new ideas. Travel, take a new course of study, and be open to other people and ideas. Try to understand the different cultural values you encounter. They can stimulate your mind and lead to a new creative approach. Knowledge gained now can bring recognition in your field of practice. These predictions were based on your sun sign. If you'd like more accurate information based on your time, date, and place of birth, go to my website, professorastrology.com, go to the personal services page, and there you'll find a way to order a transit chart that'll tell you exactly what's coming for you for the next 12 months. 
Now, I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank you for listening. Please share these videos with your friends because they're free. And please don't forget to subscribe. Again, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great month.